Hey, happy Friday to you, and welcome back to the Friday Funnies. Hey, I got to ask, how has your week been? You know, I, I hope it's been good, but if you've had any problems, remember at least the FBI didn't search your house. That's what happened to Donald Trump. The FBI searched his Mar-a-Lago resort and discovered that if you rearrange the letters in Mar-a-Lago, you get MAGA oral, <laughs> and that says a lot. The FBI said they were looking for classified documents that Trump took with him when he left the White House, but so far all they came away with is uh, four gallons of hair dye, a diploma from Trump University, and his entry to the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes. So what else did they find? We don't know yet. Stay tuned. But while the FBI was hard at work, other people across the globe found the time to do really stupid stuff. And they're highlighted in this week's funnies. Always wear clean underwear. These words of wisdom we heard from our mothers, and they were meant to protect us from embarrassment in case we were in an accident. I guess, you know, mom never really thought that being in an accident was enough cause for you to poop your pants. But that said, I will bet that Alberto Nonio wished he would have listened to his mother. Alberto was in a 400 meter race at the World Athletics Championships and he was doing good and until, until his wiener popped out of his running shorts because he wasn't wearing any underwear. He tried to cover up his dangling junk with his hand, but it slowed him down and he lost the race. So a valuable lesson was learned, but it could have been worse. He could have been running the high hurdles where dangling could lead to disaster. Casper is a New York-based mattress company and they are hiring professional sleepers to test their products, huh? Company is looking for people with excellent napping experience and the ability to sleep through anything. And they're gonna be paid for napping in Casper stores and in unexpected settings out in the world. Personally, I consider myself to be the perfect candidate for this job. I get a solid eight hours of sleep every night and another two or three hours during the day. I love a good nap and can sleep at the drop of a hat, because if I drop my hat, I have to bend over to pick it up, and I figure, as long as I'm down here, I might as well have a nap. Hey, here's another story from Florida. In, in Volusia, deputies were called to save a man from a machete-wielding, berry-picking, naked man. And he wanted the victim's phone and his clothes. Now first, let me point out that you will probably never see the description of a machete-wielding, berry-picking, naked man in a state other than Florida. Okay, the perpetrator is Brandon Wright, and he approached the victim demanding his clothes. And when he refused, the attacker threw his machete at him, along with a handful of palmetto berries. Well, the machete hit the man handle first, causing no damage, but the berries left some serious stains on his clothing. When police arrived, Wright fled, still naked, and was, was found doing push-ups at the entrance to a food store. He has prior convictions for kidnapping, cocaine possession, and battery of a police officer and has been denied bond. But on the bright side, he now has a lovely orange jumpsuit to wear. <laughs> Hey, my friends, that's it for another week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me here. Please uh, listen to my podcast, Another Day Above Ground, and it'll give you even more laughter. And pass these along to everybody you knew. That being said, there will be no Friday Funnies next week. I'm going off on another adventure, and I'll tell you all about it when I get back. Have a great weekend.